Good day, everyone. This is Chris at the Ancient Scholar. So today I'm going to be talking about a uh, somewhat of a novel way of managing airway in a pre-hospital environment, and this is through the agency of a relatively new device. This is known as the LMA Fast Track, or the Intubating Laryngeal Mask Airway. This is, uh, uh, comes from um, LMA. Uh, the LMA, of course, has been around for quite a while. It was invented by Dr. Um, Archie Brain. Um, I believe he's a physician from the United Kingdom, and it's been around since at least the 80s, and this is a newer newer type of device uh, that's actually been used in the operating theater for quite some time now, and it's now, uh, we now have um, devices uh, that are being used in the pre-hospital environment. This just happens to be a disposable device, and this is called the LMA Fast Track, or the Intubating Laryngeal Mask Airway. Uh, as you can see, it has a kind of a hard uh, plastic construction to it. Uh, the ones that you'll see in the operating theater um, actually have a, a metallic construction because they're reusable and you can autoclave them. Um, so it is inserted um, in a similar fashion to the original LMA, and I'll go ahead and do a demonstration here in just a little bit. Um, inserted in the uh, typical fashion, um, and then you go ahead and ventilate, uh, attach your bag uh, to the distal portion of the LMA. You ventilate and, the, and you assess for uh, proper placement of the LMA using uh, utilizing the typical means uh, that would be uh, carbon dioxide detection, lung sounds, chest rise, and full pulse oximetry color, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, however, after this LMA has been inserted, um, in the package is a um, endotracheal tube. It looks like this. It kind of has a wire um, in, in internal uh, structure to it. Um, gives it a little bit of strength, but at the same time, it's malleable. And this is actually designed to be inserted blindly into the uh, LMA. It's inserted blindly into the LMA. And uh, what I'll do is I'll set this down and try to do a demonstration. So this can be inserted blindly into the LMA, and once it's inserted blindly into the LMA, um, it's kind of guided into the glottic aperture. Um, in, in, at least in theory, the esophagus, of course, will be obturated somewhat here by the distal tip um, of the LMA, and the endotracheal tube will then pass into the glottis uh, blindly, you can then ventilate the patient uh, through the uh, dis uh, proximal end of the endotracheal tube. And you can even, um, although I ne wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this in the pre-hospital environment, but you'll see this in the hospital environment, you can even, through the agency of this little um, stick here that comes with a package, this kind of um, supports it. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that maneuver in just a little bit. Um, and you can uh, kind of stabilize the endotracheal tube and actually pull the LMA out. And I'll demonstrate that here in just a minute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, inserting the LMA fast track or the intubating laryngeal mask airway. Let me go ahead and just grab a bag valve mask device. This is actually a pediatric bag valve mask, so it's a little smaller than the adult, but it'll work for our demonstration purposes. So. I'm going to go ahead, lubricate the distal end, check all of my equipment, make sure it's working, obviously, uh, uh, hopefully I'm having somebody uh, bagging the patient. I'll go ahead and position the patient. I'll insert the LMA blindly, and then I'll go ahead and inflate. Uh, this is a size 3, so I'll put about 15-20 uh, milliliters of air in. Then I'll go ahead, I'll hook up my entitl, or my capnometer, actually, a colometric uh, carbon dioxide measuring device. I'll go ahead and ventilate the patient like I would if a regular LMA was in place. Listen to lung sounds, listen to epigastric sounds, and uh, assess all of the usual methods for placement. Uh, once I'm sure I have good placement, I can then go ahead and attempt to blindly insert an endotracheal tube through the LMA. Uh, to do that, I'll simply take my, uh, my endotracheal tube, it's tested, maybe a little bit of lubricant. I'll insert the endotracheal tube, and what'll happen is um, there will be a line, it might be difficult to see, but there'll be a marker, and when that marker lines up with a tip, um, the proximal tip 
of the LMA, I'm going to go ahead and stop inserting, and I'm going to put my hand on the handle of, of the LMA, fast track, the intubating LMA. I'm going to do what's called the Shandy's Maneuver, it's named after uh, an anesthetist uh, by the name of Shandy. This will uh, significantly improve my chance of first pass success. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up. I'm going to do a upward motion similar to what I would do with a laryngoscope. I'm not going to rock it, but I'm going to pull up. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up, and then I'll go ahead and insert the endotracheal tube all the way in. Once the endotracheal tube is in, I'll insert air to inflate the uh, cuff, put my uh, colometric device on, and then begin bagging the patient. I have chest rise and fall, and I'll go ahead and assess for proper position and placement with the, the typical means. Now at this point in the pre-hospital environment, you could probably stop right here because I have an airway, I have um, the glottis isolated, and I have a good airway in the trachea. In the hospital, you may see them actually exchange this out, and they'll use this little support stick here. And basically what we'll do is we will deflate the endotracheal tube cuff. And what I'm going to have to do is, uh, for this to work, I'm going to have to pull the adapter off. And then this will stick in to the endotracheal tube itself. And then as I'm pulling the LMA out, I will use this guide, this stick for lack of better words, to stabilize the endotracheal tube. It'll come through. I'll attach the bag valve device. Once it's out, I'll go ahead and uh, have somebody hold that for me so it doesn't become dislodged. I'll insert a little bit of air and ventilate. Have chest rise and fall, listen to lung sounds, look for carbon dioxide, and verify placement with the usual means, and then go ahead and properly uh, secure the tube. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that out in the field, but it is something you may see. Okay, guys, hopefully this is just a, a brief introduction to the intubating LMA or the LMA Fast Track. This is the disposable device that you may see uh, used in the pre-hospital environment. And hopefully you found this enlightening and um, you may run into these. Uh, as always, thanks for hanging in there.